Hello, everyone, and welcome to this next episode of Spin Cats. I have Alex Madeira here with me from Ottawa University, but I will give it to him real quick to let you guys know where you where Ottawa University is located and all that stuff. Hello, everyone. My name is Alex Madeira. I'm the director of eSports at Ottawa University. We're located in Kansas, Ottawa. It's a pleasure to meet you and be here. Awesome. Uh, so kind of first question, is your program more varsity-oriented, club-oriented, both? So our program right now is varsity-oriented. Cool, cool, cool. Um, about how many players, teams do you have? So right now we currently compete in Overwatch, League of Legends, Rocket League, Valorant, Call of Duty, Apex, and Halo. We have around 50 players. I'm working into introducing uh, Fortnite and Super Smash Bros. for next year. So our group is going to grow. But so gotcha. far, yeah. we have. A lot of players there. Um, are you guys recruiting as well for all of those games? Any additional ones? Yeah, so that's a great question. Right now, we're currently recruiting for every title. Uh, so we're working towards creating academy teams for each one of them, plus the addition okay. of the new two games. So, yeah. Gotcha. Do you guys offer uh, esports scholarships as well? Yes, we do offer esports scholarships. It all depends on the skill level and how you do in the trials, but we have the scholarships for every player that we recruit. Gotcha. Uh, what are some of the main uh, trade skills that you look for when recruiting? So I usually divide it in uh, both academic and uh, game-wise. So if it's game-wise, I look for positive mentality, communication skills, game knowledge, tournament and competitive experience, and desire to improve as a player and a teammate. If it's academically-wise, I uh, usually look for people willing to be successful academically and people that understand the importance of being academically successful. I know a lot mm -hmm. of kids just want to play video games and stuff like that, but you're a student first and then an athlete. So that's some of the things I look forward to recruits. Gotcha. So is that kind of like a 50 um, 50 thing you look at? You take one yes. side of it and then also the other. All right, yes. cool. Cool, cool. Um, do you guys host any events um, on campus, camps, anything like that? So um, I have been on the job for two months, um, but my plan is to host events for high school, events for colleges, like tournaments and competitions, mm -hmm. uh, playing on some summer camps and stuff like that. Some of the camps I'm trying to look forward, since we have really high level players, is trying to teach a little bit more high level stuff to high school kids and anyone interested, independent if you're in college, junior college, or whatever you are. Like some, some of the things are coming forward. Uh, we're going to put more information later on. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool, cool. Well, excited to see more happening there. Um, do you guys also recruit or kind of look for non-player roles, people to help with like casting, production? Yeah, so that's an amazing question. Right now, we have a student managers for some of our teams. We have coaches, we have production, and we have casters. Uh, we also offer scholarships for them. And right now, I'm looking for more student managers, for more coaches, for more production, for more casters. So we have a lot of positions open. If anyone's interested, they can reach out to me and yeah, we can talk about that. And as I mentioned, we offer scholarships, so that's a nice way, you know, to get extra money to come to college and still do something that you love. Gotcha. And you talked about hosting events, so I'm gonna assume you guys obviously have a facility or space. What does it kind of look like? Yes, sir. We do have a two-floor state-of-the-art facility located at Peter's Auditorium in our um, administration building. Our mm -hmm. facility's first floor has a stage shuttle for competitions with six computers and a practice area with a total number of 35 computers with high specs. Um, that's in total in the first floor. It also has an expectating area which can accommodate over 20, uh, 95 people with wow. seats. So you're all gonna be all comfortable. Uh, we also have a broadcasting office in the first floor and my personal office where I'm located right now. On the mm -hmm. other hand, in the second floor, we have our production area. We also have a scrimmage area that we're working into. Uh, it's gonna be in the left wing. It's gonna have six computers uh, for our scrimmage. So anything that has a scrimmage in a specific days is gonna use that specific area. Since it's in the second floor, it's like more quiet and stuff. So they will be able to focus and talk more about, you know, body reviews and all those kind of things. Uh, in the other area, in the other wing, we're going to have six tables, uh, gaming tables. Right now we have around three players uh, where they will be allowed to win their computers. So right now we have three players with their own personal computers there. Uh, it means you can practice there. The only thing I require them is like if they're going to compete in tournaments, they use the stage. Outside that, they can scrimmage and they can do everything from the, their personal computers. Uh, gotcha. Outside that, we also have a production area in the second floor. So in total, counting both floors, we can host at least 120 to 150 people wow that sounds awesome um so i know you also have some background before ottawa in uh, collegiate esports as well um sure. i guess specifically to ottawa since you just mentioned you are pretty brand new mm -hmm. um what's kind of some of the bigger challenges um in terms of coming into a new program so my first thing was trying to get to know the kids um show them obviously that i care about them and that i want them to be successful both academically and in sports uh we have a high level of talent here and i understand a lot of them see you know like oh i want to go pro or i want to go you know tier mm -hmm. one tier two team so they try to dedicate themselves just to playing video games uh one of the challenges was trying to show them you know what i mean there's importance in academics like obviously i would like them to get a degree in those kind of things and 
it's a big challenge, you know, trying to get them out of the arena. But everything so far, <laughs> everything has been going well. They have uh, understood that I care about them and I want the best for them. So they have been working, you know, be successful academically, but also be successful uh, in esports. So it has been a it has been a lovely time. Gotcha. Um, definitely makes sense. Um, what's kind of any uh, proud moments, big achievements that you guys had so far? Again, I know it's it's kind of brand new there, but any anything to mention there? So I will say something I'm really proud of. They have been so our semester is separated in two parts. We have fall one and fall two. Um, I'm really happy to see that all of them has been successful in fall one. That's something that mm. makes me really proud. Uh, it's a big thing with ESport Atlas. A lot of people believe they are, you know, bad students and those kind of things. Uh, these kids have made a huge improvement from last year uh, based on the um, research and paperwork I have. So that makes me really proud. And another thing has been seeing them overcome the challenges of having new teammates. You know how hard it is when you have new teammates at this high level, you know, mm -hmm. try to overcome and get their gameplay into your own gameplay. So it has been really nice to see them overcome those challenges. And I believe we're going to have an amazing season. So I'm really excited. Awesome. to see. That. Yeah. And just to clarify, by successful, do you mean like academically, like in the classroom? Yes, sir. They yeah. have been doing perfectly. They have been going to all their classes. They have been passing all their classes. So that has been a really um, nice achievement for me. It makes me really proud that they have understood how important it is, you know, to go to class and get those grades up. Awesome. I mean, yeah, obviously, if because every I know every program has like an eligibility requirement. So, you know, if you can't if you can't have a certain GPA, then you can't even play. So yes. um, I know yes. obviously that's very important there. Um, kind of wrapping it up here, if you could give one piece of advice to any recruit um, or just, you know, player watching, what would it be? So my advice, my advice would be to never give up and show you decide to compete. I value highly the recruits who put their time into improving and how are open to learning from their failures. There's a lot of recruits that they, you know, they fail in a game or they're not doing well. They just, you know, get their mental down. Um, I like to see those recruits when they reach out to me, you know, be on top of everything. Like, hey, uh, director, how's everything going? Like, uh, I did this, I did this, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes I have to be a little bit on top of the situation with that sense. But I like to see, you know, when they had that desire to come here and, you um, they have to understand that at the end of the day like this is a uh, a really challenge uh job like you have a lot of recruits trying you know to come over here you have a lot of talent to come over here but mm -hmm. i really value when you're like on top of things when you're like really polite kid and all those kind of stuff it's hard sometimes to get a scholarship for some kids but never give up just try you know reaching out to directors reaching out to colleges and you're gonna find your spot never give up in that sense Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking some time to uh, talk with us today and learn more about your program. Sounds like you guys have some awesome stuff th going on there, and I'm excited to kind of follow your program, you know, with you kind of starting off here. And uh, like you said, coming into the spring when all, you know, the major championships are to see how you guys perform. Um, but just to, uh, for any students or players wanting to learn more about your program, where can they kind of find more info? So you can see our Twitch uh, streams if you want to, Braves uh, underline eSports. If you want to reach out to me personally, you can go to our Twitter at eSports underline Ottawa. Uh, we have also the Discord for our server right there. So if you send a message to the actual Twitter account, I will be the one receiving it. So if you want to know anything or you're interested in any kind of thing, you can just send a message there and I will be more than happy to help you with that. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Alex, for taking the time and uh, best of luck with you guys for finishing out the fall. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure to be here.